Hello, my name is Big New Vinzig. As promised, I've come back with a follow-up video of my trail cam. I set it up in this forest here. Um, I just used some bungee straps to attach it to the tree. I think it works fairly well. Um, the plastic does shine a little in the light, but I think with a camouflage tape it works well. Um, I had a great location here in Sasquatch Park to try it out. Um, I'm just going to try to talk over here uh, while I point out some of the things. So there it is from a distance. It doesn't show up too much. I probably shouldn't have used the blue bungee cord, but um, it works. Just this was proof of concept. And it's a nice area. They, uh, anyone coming through the path, any animals coming through the path won't see it till they come upon it. Um, I probably should have put it a little bit higher, but I can't reach that high, so I'm not taking a step ladder with me into the forest. That's not going to happen. Not today. Maybe another time. Oh, well, there I am, showing my work and my blue bungee cord, which is really bothering me now. I wish I had another green one. Uh, what else do I need to see? My shoes. Oh, here's the uh, Wi-Fi repeating point. So I've set up an old cell phone with a uh, 7-Eleven card, SIM card in it and um, set it up as a Wi-Fi hub. And then the camera, the Raspberry Pi has Wi-Fi built in and it communicates back to the hub. And the idea here is I will hide that uh, camera or phone much better. But Okay, so here's me turning on the footage. No. Installing, this is when I the first time I installed the camera. That's why the time code's there, of course. Um, so this was the first time I had the camera set up. Got it in, and so I let it run this day for just the day. I set it up in the in the woods, went had lunch, did a few things, um, and then came back and hiked up back up in here to retrieve it. I didn't let it sit overnight. Um, this was just a trial run again. And to be honest, I didn't want anybody stealing my cell phone that's hanging in the other tree. And after this, I did hide it much better. Um, but I wanted to see when the motion trigger went off, whether it would send me the stills through the phone. So the camera uses Wi-Fi to send the stills to the phone, and then the phone uses cheap, good old uh, cell phone reception to email it to me. And the idea is if the camera gets taken or stolen or whatever, I'll still have images and have something to work with. So as I said, I left this run all day. Um, and I had a few interesting things show up on camera and I'm just looking ahead here that's going to come up so I edited this there's going to be a chop here in a second and we'll see the interesting things I found on the camera that day so here we jumped ahead an hour and 55 minutes and there do you see it go by quickly it almost looked like a crow that went by but we'll slow it down so you can see again now there's a second event and the camera moved there oh that one you can really see what happened. So there, I've, I'm playing them again too fast here, but uh, there's two events. This this is the second one. And then again, seeing it, you can see it's not a crow this time for sure. That's not a bird. So that's the second event. And then the first event here, I've slowed it down. So this is where the camera get moved in the first event by whatever is grabbing it, I'm going to say. And then in the second event, this is the one where the camera gets knocked out completely. And I found it on the ground afterwards. It had been ripped off the tree. The bungee cords were gone. In fact, I lost the blue one. Here I've slowed it right down again. Those are fingers. Those have to be fingers. Fingers and hair is what I'm seeing. There's no two ways about it. So this is the second event again, yes. Again, fingers and hair, black. <laughs> you you decide. I'm not going to tell you what that is, but I have a sneaking suspicion. Um, that's my video. I'm going to wrap it up here with one more. Bye-bye.